My son is a life skills student, but does spend 90% of his time in the general education class with one-to-one -one life skills para support for safety eloping. He's a first grader. Parents are having issues with the life skills special education teacher, so the school suggests that my son, who needs assistance with toileting, be moved from the life skills exceptional student services class. I do believe in a special education. ESS does not provide one-to-one -one support. They just have an occasional parent come in and check on the students every now and then. Plus, the ESS says that they are not certified or licensed to help my son with toileting. The principal said that they don't need to be licensed or certified to help a child with a disability with toileting assistance, and they can tr try to provide I like that. Try to provide one-to-one -one coverage from ESS for my son. As it's stated in his IP that he is to have one-to-one -one coverage while in school. What do I do in this situation? In the state of Colorado, you, do you have to be certified or licensed to help a disabled child in the public school with toileting assistance or can just a teacher do it? Colorado. Can we just give a big shout out for Colorado? I thought you said in Colorado we have to be certified to do anything. Do you guys, have you been to Colorado? It's beautiful there. But there's something about those ice capped snow mountains that makes people not make good decisions. So um, anybody that's a, an employee of a school district could help you, of course, with toileting. That's not, not something you need to be certified for. Toileting would go on your PCS, your personal care supplement. Um, I don't know why your child needs a one-on-one -on -one all day. I, I, I bet they really don't. I bet there's some times that we could fade back. I bet when he's in group settings, or engage, we could fade that back, and I, I would ask them to do that. Um, but when he's receiving instruction, special education support, he needs a special educator, or at minimum, a para who's worked with the special educator to provide um, that instruction and directives, and specially designed instruction.